Are you going on a cruise for the first time? I know you want to make it the absolute best. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 top first time cruiser mistakes that real cruisers have made so you can avoid them. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, you know I love to share cruise tips and I especially want everybody's first cruise to be as good as possible. And of course, once we do something once, we always know what we would do differently the next time. So what I did is I did ask in my Facebook group and I really appreciate all of the responses. I asked people for their first time cruise mistakes, what they would do differently if they were to do it again. And then I compiled all of those comments up. They were over 400 and I kind of broke them up into the top 10 themes that kept coming up and I included as well some that were a little bit unique that I did think really are worth paying attention to. Now before I get started I did want to mention two things. Firstly if you've cruised before please share your wisdom. If you have made some mistakes either the ones that I mentioned in this video or other ones please leave them in the comments below. I absolutely know that they are going to help people. And secondly if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one not eating in the main dining room and eating most of their meals in the buffet even in the evening. Now a lot of people said this was a mistake because well first of all they actually thought that the main dining room may not have been included in the price of their cruise so then definitely when they found that out towards the end of the cruise they were disappointed that they missed out on all of that great dining room food, all of the amazing service and other people said that they sort of thought if they wanted to stay casual that they needed to eat in the buffet and that they couldn't go into the dining room. Maybe they wouldn't be well dressed enough and when they took a look at some of the people coming out of the main dining room they thought we would fit in just fine. Number two, not researching the cruise ship or the cruise line enough. Now some people said they really did think that all cruise ships were kind of the same and even all cruise lines but even within cruise lines people said that they didn't really pay attention to what the size of the ship was or if a ship was one of the newer ships or one of the older ships realizing once they got on that all of the things that they saw maybe in the cruise line brochures or probably more likely on some of the videos that they saw on YouTube or on some of the advertising or even on the website that that smaller ship just didn't have all of those activities and once they got on the ship even though they had a good time they regretted not doing more research into their cruise ship. Number three now I thought this was a really fun one it's a little bit light but it really is something that repeat cruisers would know about but new cruisers probably wouldn't and that is that you can decorate your cruise ship cabin door. Now on some cruise lines it's really pretty common and very popular in particular for instance for Carnival and for Disney for people to decorate their cruise cabin doors and the advantage of decorating your door in some way is that when you do walk down the hallway and all of the cabin doors look the same you'll be able to recognize yours and it's a little bit of a fun thing to do as well. Now if you would like to see a video all about decorating your cruise cabin doors what are some of the rules because there actually are some rules some cruise lines allow it some cruise lines don't please let me know down in the comments below number four not knowing all that is included on a cruise now every cruise line really is very different and some cruise lines will include room service so of course if it's your first cruise and maybe your friends haven't gone on a cruise line that includes room service, you wouldn't really know about that. Or maybe some cruise lines include the gratuities. For instance, like Celebrity, if you've booked with the always included, which is most of the time when you book with Celebrity nowadays, well, your gratuities are actually included. So you won't have to pay extra. And it really is something good to know what is included on your specific cruise. Number five, forgetting things at home. Now packing for a cruise is really unlike other vacations because once you're on the cruise ship, it really is hard to get things that you may have forgotten at home. Now, some people said the things that they forgot to pack were medications. Obviously that could be a big problem. Other people said it was seasickness medications or even maybe to bring sea bands, things like that. So you definitely wanna make sure that you do bring that on a cruise. Sunscreen was another thing. You could definitely buy that on a cruise ship, but it does 
tend to be expensive and you definitely don't want to forget to put on sunscreen because you can end up with a bad sunburn. Trust me, we've dealt with it in my family. It really doesn't make for a great cruise when you do spend a day or two not feeling well because you're sunburned and even forgetting to pack certain clothes for a cruise. So formal night clothing. And some people said they even forgot an entire suitcase at home because they just didn't double check when everything was put in the car. Now, if you do want to make sure that you stay organized and you're interested in cruise packing lists, I do have the Ultimate Cruise Planner. This is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that really includes everything that you could need for planning your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. Now, what I will do is I will leave the information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down in the description below in case you do want to check it out to see what's included. Number six, leaving from a cold cruise port in the winter time. Now this is a really good one, especially if you haven't booked your cruise yet, is to really pay attention to what is the weather like at your embarkation port. So of course, when you leave from Florida, which is really common in the winter time, you're gonna have usually that hot weather when you do leave. However, if you leave from New Jersey um, or New York, chances are you're going to have very cold weather and you may have rough seas as well. Now, some people said that you even get this from Galveston. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I tend to do that, but you can expect maybe some rough seas from there as well. So it really is something to think about, especially for your first cruise. Number seven, drinking too much and even eating too much. But many people said they were just having such a good time, especially on the first couple of days of their cruise that they really just drank way too much. And if they could do it again, they would definitely hold back a little bit. They would pace themselves a little bit. Even if you have the beverage package, there is no reason to absolutely get your money's worth in the first couple of days. You will have that for the entire cruise. Number eight, a lot of people avoided attending the cruise port shopping talk. So consider yourself warned. This is something a little bit small, but at the same time, it could really be a time waster, especially if you go for more than one port. So you might as well know what this is all about. So the port shopping talk, oftentimes what they will do is they will let you know what some of the best deals are in the cruise ports. So this could be something good. They will also sometimes have a coupon book to sell. And sometimes what they will do is they will kind of let you know that if you go to some of the VIP stores, you can go on a kind of a little bit of a scavenger hunt trying to collect charms or use up coupons to get little free souvenir items that oftentimes really aren't worth much and a lot of people said they kind of felt that they kind of wasted their time on that and they did regret it and they definitely would avoid it and tell others to as well now if you've gone to the port shopping talk please let me know your thoughts on that waste of time or something that you would go to again number nine now this is really important if your first cruise is going to be spent sailing with other people or maybe even on a group cruise and the regret people had or the thing that people would do differently is they would have worked out the things that they were going to do together and the times that they maybe would do things apart because some people felt that when they went on that group cruise or they sailed with family that the expectation was they were to do everything together so not just dinner at nighttime or maybe some excursions but really have to consult each other about every little thing they did on the cruise and they really didn't like that so if you are going on a group cruise or if you're sailing with friends or family make sure that you do talk about that and you really do want to have some autonomy on your cruise otherwise you might regret it number 10 excursions and this one was either planning too many excursions or not enough excursions now some people said that there is nothing worse than getting off at the cruise port realizing you have planned nothing there's nothing to do nearby and feeling like you kind of wasted a day so people really said that they felt that they should have just planned more for their cruise ports however other people said they planned to do too much for their excursions they became overly ambitious every excursion was super active or even worse sometimes people said they booked two excursions in a day one morning one afternoon excursion and they were absolutely exhausted and you definitely don't want that after all a cruise should be relaxing rejuvenating fun but not exhausting now i have a bit of a bonus and this one came up a lot the number one mistake or regret that people had was waiting so long to take their first cruise they absolutely loved it they cruised again and again after their first cruise and they wondered what took me so long 
Now I'd love to know from you if you are cruising for the first time or if you've cruised before, please let me know if you've made any of the mistakes that I mentioned in this video or other mistakes that you have made. Please let me know down in the comments below. Now I will leave that information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner. The Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can actually print off the pages that you will need and as many of them as you need and as well, you can of course print this off for as many cruises as you do go on. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.